Hello everyone, I'm Key Artutus and today's tutorial we are going to create this fun art Super Mario animation. <laughs> Okay guys, the animation that we are going to create today is based on this illustration that I found on Pinterest. I really don't know who the author is because you have a lot of people who upload this illustration on Pinterest, but I don't know who's the real uh, author. So if you guys know, just let me know in the comments below. You see, you have different people who post it on Pinterest, but the original author, I don't know who is it. So we're gonna start with this image, we're gonna use it. Uh, it's going to be our reference for the animation, okay guys? Okay guys, let's start with the modeling. Uh, right now I'm using Blender 3.4. You can use any version that you want. It doesn't matter. And also we are going to use some elements that we created in the previous tutorial about Mario. The animation loop, uh, Mario Bros. Uh, if you don't know this tutorial, I will let you the, the link right here on the top. Or you can find the link on the description of this video. So basically I just opened the other uh, file of Mario of the previous tutorial and what we're gonna do we are going to copy some elements we already created this animation so we're gonna for example we are going to select the mushroom I'm going to select the pipe okay we're gonna select the pie we're gonna use also the coin uh, for this moment so control Z control C and then we go to the new file control V Okay, we got it there. And also we need Mario. We need to use Mario. Where is Mario? Let me find Mario. Okay, here is Mario. We're gonna use Mario. So we are going to select Mario. Okay, in this case, this one I don't need it. We need to select all the Mario stuff. The head, we need the head. So make sure to select everything. Okay, everything is selected. And then Control C. Then go back to the new file, control V. Okay, so basically, right now we have our our new file. Okay, so what we're gonna do right here is, for example, uh, I'm going to create a, a collection. We're gonna use uh, two collections. Uh, for example, right now I have a Mario selected, so I'm just going to press M and we're gonna to create new collection. We're gonna name it Mario. Okay, now so he did the collection Mario the cube we're gonna we're gonna use the default cube so in this case for now I'm going to hide it with H okay so I'm just gonna go to here and find Mario because for example here here is Mario this is Mario so in our case we don't need the animation uh, that when Mario appears and everything so I just going to select the, this box and I'm going to select all the keyframes I'm going to I am going to delete it okay so we just need the head like that so this one I think it belongs to the mushroom let me see yes yeah it belongs to the mushroom but it doesn't matter we can delete it because in our case we don't need that animation we, need, we had the pipe, we had Mario, okay. We have the coin, now let's bring the mushroom. I, I just select the box that contained the mushroom, but I didn't bring the mushroom. Control C, and then go back to the file. Control B, there is the mushroom. So the mushroom, we don't need the animation of the mushroom, so in our case, Let's go here. Okay, now we, I'm going to hide Mario collection and we just stick to the mushroom. For example, right here, going to select this boss. We're going to select all the keyframes, delete the keyframes. I just don't need the mushroom move and do any kind of animation, just like that is okay. okay let me see. Yeah, like that is okay. Okay, I just select the box, delete all the keyframes, and that's all. Okay. Now, this is what we're gonna do. <clears throat> From view, G to move the mask, we're gonna put it to the side. We're gonna select the pie as well. In our case, the pie, we're gonna let the animation because we're gonna use it. Okay, now I'm going to bring back the cube. 
we need a cube this is going to be our cube and this is going to be the measure of our animation because um, actually if you can see if you compare the measure and the height of every all the elements right here are really big compared to the cube so we need to make this small in my arcade uh, I bring Mario back okay then I'm going to select and pa -pa 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 -pa. Mario yeah right here select objects okay G I'm gonna move it oops I have one more coin so this coin no. so as you can see Mario is pretty big and uh, we don't need that we need to make everything uh, smaller compared to the cube so what we're gonna do first in our case is gonna select uh, Mario Let's select Mario then S and make it small oh sorry I select the light you can move it right here just select Mario and then make it small something like that in our case yeah mm, maybe like this yeah like this okay so G we're gonna put it right here okay now we're gonna work start to work in Mario first so in our case the these eyes we don't need it we're just going to delete it so why we take uh, the cube as a measure reference because if you can see here guys if you select the cube up in this menu in Ethan you can see the cube the dimensions of the cube is two meters uh, by two meters so this is going to be our, our reference so this is two meters so you can compare the stuff you know like uh, the pipe is huge compared to to the cube so that's why we need to uh, make everything a little smaller because in blender if you make the things really big you're gonna have yeah you're gonna have some problem with the lighting because if the things are really big the lighting is not going to work really well so in our case that's why we are using the, the cube as measure for the rest of the elements inside of the composition so right now we go back to Mario and then we need to create a new eyes so what we're gonna do is select the head okay now we're gonna uh, put the origin right here so we're gonna put uh, we're gonna press shift s and then we're gonna put cursor to select it right here okay then we're gonna go shift a mess and we're gonna create a plane okay now we're gonna open right here word view okay that's right make it smaller something like that mm, yeah, like that g to move it so we're gonna just put it right here Okay. and then we're gonna apply <clears throat> the mirror modifier or the auto mirror so we're gonna go right here edit and the auto mirror you just click it this add-on is included inside blender you just can activate it to go to edit preference in add-on you just put a uh, type auto mirror and then check it and then it will appear there so basically it's like a mirror See, right now we can see nothing okay so we're gonna create the eye right there but first okay let's try it off we're gonna go back here and find the plane okay the plane is two control three too far away I'm going to put it right here from view now we are going to activate the snap tool right here open this box put face projection and then back face cooling and project individual elements then we can move it and he will stay there okay so something like that double r r to locate it well i think like that is okay enter to edit mode activate x-ray you can activate it from here in my case my shortcut is q the q letter so I will start to scale it down a little bit. This one we're gonna select for um, edge selection. Now, kill it. Something like that. E, we're gonna start to strip it. Something like this. Scale it. Rotate it a little bit. 
here. Basically, we're gonna make uh, the eye like a closed eye because he's sleeping, he's taking a rest. So, just scale it and then E extrude it. In this one, we can rotate it a little bit and then extrude it as to scale it down okay something like that and then right here we're gonna create a cut on the middle like this bah. now we're gonna go to the modifiers and gonna we're gonna apply the subdivision modifier so basically something like that let me see we're gonna put around two okay now go back here Go back to object mode and then we see maybe something like that but I think it's, it's pretty big so we're gonna put it something like this from view G okay I'm going to let it right here yeah something like here you can modify a little bit the things if you want this is up to you Vertex selection, we're gonna select two vertices. We're gonna move it a little bit. Rotate. Okay. This one. Proportional editing. G. Z. I think the radius is too big. Ra. Something like this is okay. Now, face selection. A for select everything. You see like that is okay and then we are going to extrude it e gonna select it right here let me see oh oops i make a mistake okay now first thing we need to do we're gonna disactivate the proportional editing and then the snap tool okay and then we are going to come right here and apply the mirror but because we are in edit mode we can apply it so go back to object mode apply the mirror okay that's it that's all we're gonna put it something right here okay like that now we're gonna move it like g y yeah something something right here is okay <clears throat> now we're gonna again enter to edit mode, select everything. Yeah, everything is selected. Now E, Y, select something like that. Yeah, like that is okay. Now let's put three in the subdivision. Let's put three and three in render. Okay. So basically, something like this. Okay, we need something like that it doesn't matter it's not too big deal to make it okay <clears throat> now we can create a, a copy with the mirror we just select the head yes so here you can move it a little bit let's say right here yeah right here side view control 3 to the other side view then just move it G Y uh, R to rotate it a little bit from view yeah something like that that's okay now Z to go to material preview and then right here we just can apply a, a material black material new so we're gonna go black and then the specular 0.2 and roughness 0.8 that's also we this is going to be our mario sleeping okay and then we're gonna select the eye okay select the eye and then hold down shift select this box and then ctrl p and parry now what we're gonna do we are going to start with the body create the body mario's body so we're gonna go uh, to from view okay now we're gonna select the the cube, the empty that uh, contain all the Mario head, and uh, we're gonna 
uh, press R X minus 90 okay we're gonna go to side view control 3 to go to this part then we're gonna move it G with something right here okay will be something like that and at this point what we're gonna do we're going to uh, select the cube enter to edit mode uh, face selection we're gonna select the top face and then shift s and cursor to select it then go back to object mode then right click then set origin to the 3d cursor okay like that so now we can scale the cube from that point and it it is, um, we're gonna make uh, something like that I think it's okay mm, yes maybe yeah a little bit more big Pull it up like that I think it's okay okay guys now we're gonna go to control 3 to this view and then we're gonna start to calculate where Mario head is going to be maybe right here yeah, at the moment right there okay now top view we're gonna tell view then from here we're gonna start so what we're gonna do ship a mesh and then uh, we're gonna create a cube like that like that then scale it maybe right there okay control 3 uh, we're gonna go to uh, let me see ah modify we're gonna apply in subdivision modify we're gonna put it to cut view then G to move it we're gonna place it right here then side view G move it put it right something yeah let me see something right here okay now enter to edit mode we're gonna enter, enter to edit mode and then activate we're gonna change the view to solid view Z Solid view, then activate X ray vision, then vertex selection with one. Select this vertex is right here. Then G Z. Gonna move it something right there. Okay, then top view. Then we're gonna select those vertices right there and then scale it down. Yeah, something almost there. Now these ones we're gonna scale it up. Okay, go back to object mode and G, Y, move it a little bit, something like this. I think we're going to put three, then right clip, shader smooth. So for the moment, this is going to be Mario's, Mario's uh, body, okay. Now what we're going to do is, <clears throat> we need to calculate because actually the head is pretty big, so we're going to made the body smaller G Y I think something like that yeah because the actually the head is pretty big okay like that is okay later we can um, move it but this is basically the body and then we're gonna start with the legs I going to make one leg and then the second one I going to speed it up a uh, the video so you can follow along it's pretty simple so we go to seven for top view and then uh, we're gonna create uh, the ship A. We're gonna go to uh, curve and we're gonna select Bezier. So we already created Bezier. And then we need to rotate it. So we're gonna press R, X, 90, something like that. Then we're gonna go to from view. Let me see. Yeah, right there. Seven again. Now G, we're gonna move it. We're gonna scale it, something like that. We're gonna R to rotate it. We're gonna rotate this right there, G. And then this leg is going to be right here. Yeah. Three, side view. G, we're gonna place it right there. Then we're gonna enter to edit modes. We're gonna select the handles. We're gonna select first this vertices and then move it a little bit. Yeah, right there. Select the handle, this part. Then G, we're gonna place it, let me see, something right here, this one, we can select this handle, then 
something yeah something like that so let's select this vertex one next again then move it I think it's something right here this handle G or move it around like that this one the same select this handle G we're gonna make it like that it's okay then go back to object mode now we're gonna select the curve the body and the head just select everything and then G Z and move it down a little bit I think till this point is okay now we go back to the curve okay the curve is going to be like that then we need to go to the properties of the curve right here you see you can find the properties right here and then we're gonna go to geometry and no 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 geometry sorry this one yeah, let me see T -t -t. where is it where is it and um, offset ah this one bit yeah it's here under bevel so right here we can give it the shape of the leg it'll be something like that I think the resolution we can increase it like six I mean the resolution uh, uh, we're gonna go right here to wireframe so you can see the wireframe of the objects right there so the resolution it was in four so you can put it 12 or you can put it six I think like that is okay and then right here also you can preview the resolution preview is 12 but you can increase it like a 8 if you want so it will be like that we can still edit it, the curve I go back right here we're gonna select this one G move it a little B like here select the handle and move it and then we're gonna put fill the caps in this part we're gonna select this vertex right here the first one and then we're gonna press alt s to make it a little small and this one alt s and make it big yeah seven okay now go back to object mode g to move it a little bit yeah will be something right there is okay then I'm going to disactivate the wireframe right click let me see no no right click like that is okay okay guys now basically this is one leg so we're gonna go again right here enter to edit mode I need to fix this one because the geometry is getting outside oh like that is okay look so we can select the handle we can move it we can play around with the handles if you want a, a knee right here you just can subdivide the the curve just but in my case I don't gonna do it like that for me is okay so select this one G something right here we can increase this to 14 and then here yeah, 12 so you can see the difference when you increase it it also will make the geometry heavier so you need to be careful with that like 16 is okay okay guys so this is my leg so basically this is one leg and the the process for the legs and the hands is similar so it's pretty simple now I'm going to make the, the shoes I'm going to make one first going to be pretty simple ship a then we're gonna go to mess we're gonna select UV sphere like that that one then we're going to isolate it going to actually wait I need to change my keyboard to English okay okay we isolate it then we're gonna go to edit mode then x-ray vision and I'm going to select those vertices right here okay and then X and delete it so we got we're gonna get uh, have this left so I'm going to select all this loop of vertices right with all click oops oopsie like that you see then we're gonna go to 
bottom view with control 7 in the numpad we're gonna press E S we're gonna extrude it E S once again E S once again then right click and then um, right here merge vertices at center we're gonna select it okay this is pretty simple now again one more time Control 7 then A to select everything uh, we're gonna scale it on Y Yeah, something like that. Number three. Then we're gonna select uh, X-ray vision. We're gonna select those vertices right here. Then G, Z with a little B. We're gonna select this top vertices, this top vertex right here. And then we're gonna change it to move. And then we are going to activate the proportional editing. And we're gonna move it. Uh, Increase the radius. Yep. Now top view. So basically, this is our shoe. So shoe is smooth, and then we go back to the other objects. And it's pretty big, but no problem. We can make it small. Okay, we're just going to move it and locate it in the right spot, the right position, right there. We can press Control Two. To apply the subdivision modifier, then three, scale it and locate it in the right position. G to move it. Yeah, three. Finish. Seven. Yeah. You just need to calculate everything. Now, right here, we can create. Uh, uh, loop we just make a cut uh, with control R oh sorry right here and place it down something like that is okay now go back and then we find the right spot for our shoe I think like that works perfectly so look guy basically this is our foot and then go to top view now this one is okay now later we're gonna convert it to mesh so at the moment it's a curve but uh, later we're gonna change it now right now like this this is the foot and uh, this is the leg and the and the shoe so the other one is basically the same but it's going to be this way so i'm going to do it Okay, the legs are done. Now about the body, I think we still to make it bigger. A little bit big, something right there. Yes, I view. And let's move it, G, Z. Okay, right there, seven. Okay, let me enter to edit mode, one. Select those vertices, okay. X-ray vision, select it again. Select this one, we're going to select it. And then we can make one cup right here. No, 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 no cup, sorry. Like that is okay, later we are going to apply the modifier, so it will look nice. So now what we're gonna do, we are going to create the the two hands and the, the arms basically the same process like the leg we just uh, use one uh, of these curves for example i'm going to duplicate it and then we're gonna put it right here you see then from view try visual then r rotate it like that seven g okay so it's already done the the curve is already 
make the the shape that we want we just need, need to move it this one G move it right here select the handle just play around get the shape that you want for example in this case I'm going to select this one select the other vertex right click and then we're gonna go to 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 to, to divide it we're gonna select everything a right click and let me find it to divide yeah. so we got three three vertex so this one we're gonna put it right here we can move it a little bit so this one select it right here select the handle move it G okay so we just need to generate the shape that we want and that's also we're gonna put this right here <clears throat> this right there because Mario is sleeping he's chilling after all he, 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 he has been through so he just relaxing taking a nap okay this one we can just move it right here out s Let's make it smaller I think the something like that basically then we're just gonna move this right here on the top and let me see control 3 rotate it like that okay basically something like that And then uh, what we get, I'm gonna do, I'm just going to duplicate this one and that's all. Okay, it's done. So I, I make the two arts, but in this case, I don't gonna make the hands because basically uh, we don't gonna see it. It's going to be something from here, the view of the camera. So if you want to make the hands, it's okay. You can do it, go ahead. But in my case, I don't gonna do it. Now we're gonna fix this one right here. We're gonna enter to edit mode, select this one, select the P, then you need to go inside. Yeah, like that. Now top view, go back to edit mode. Now we're gonna work in the body. So in the stomach, we're gonna go right here and three, we're gonna apply the modifier and to edit mode, right? Now we're gonna start to add colors. We're gonna start to add materials to the to our character. So Z material preview. Now you can see no materials. So let's start with the let me see how the hands we can create a new material. We want and when we can select from the from the head. So material this one the same. New material. Select the red. Yes. That's the thing now about right here the legs. Select this one new material. We're gonna select the blue. Yeah, something like something right here. Then we're gonna change the specular 0.2 and roughness 0.8. Like before in the previous tutorial. You need to check it out. The previous tutorial about Mario animation loop. This one, the same, we can create new material and then select that blue right here. It's okay. Now, about the shoes, create new material, select something brown, some kind of brown right here, then go down a little bit dark. The specular 0.2, brownness 0.8. Yeah. And then the other shoe the same in one and we choose the brown from here. So we have this. Yes. And about right here, <clears throat> this is what we're gonna do right now. Don't have material, we're gonna create new material and then we're gonna select the blue one, but we're gonna change it. We're gonna modify uh, one, the part. 
So what we're gonna do is we're going to enter to edit mode and then we're gonna select face selection right here. And then we're gonna activate the X-ray vision. And then we're just going to select this part, all these faces. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, we have one material. So we are going to create one more material. The plus button right here, new one. Then we select the red one that it comes from the cap. And then we are going to invert the selection with Control I and assign the red material, right? So we have something like that. Now we're gonna select this part and make it blue. So we are going to hold down L, Alt, click, and then hold down and the other side. Hold down Alt and Shift. So it will be something like that. Let me let me see. Yeah. Then we're gonna select the blue one and assign the material. Then we go back to edit mode uh, to object mode. Sorry, and then we're gonna apply again the subdivision surface. Division surface, it will look something like that. But we need to create a okay, let's activate the x ray vision. Cut view. Now we need to create the buttons of Mario. So, what we're gonna do, we are going to select this. Let me see. I'm going to select uh, this one. Yeah, this one. Let me select this one also. And then you need to go. To act, you need to go and activate this add-on. It comes by, uh, with Blender Extra. Is one extra object um, uh, add-on. You just click it, check it, and then we can go after selected everything like that. Right-click and then Loops Tool, and we're gonna go to Circle. You can see. Then we're gonna press I to make insertion inside. Something like that. And then we're gonna extrude it a little bit. E up, yeah. I think it will be something like this. Okay. Now we go back to object mode. You can see. Sorry, you don't you don't need to activate the extra object, you need to activate the loops. Uh, right here. Yeah, mess loop tools. So then you can create this kind of selection. Okay. Now we need to create one more material. So we're gonna go here and create one more material. And one more material. And we're gonna use this one that's already created. And so we're gonna select it, the yellow one, the golden one. And we, we're gonna assign it. We're go, going to increase the selection with Control Plus. Okay, and then assign it. Like that then we go go back to object mode then we go to the subdivision and change it to I think three is okay and look we already have our Mario this is our Mario and the head about the head we need to change the rotation so we're gonna go to side view and then right here we're gonna rotate it a little bit something right there G to move it we're gonna move it and we're gonna place it maybe right here Yes, we need to take a look. Yeah, three once again. Rotate a little more. G to move it. Place it right there. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Let me see. We can make it bigger. G. Yes. I think we can change the size of the head of Mario. Right now it's in global, we can change it to normal. And then shrink it a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, something like that. Then go back. Then G to move it. Make it bigger. This is a cartoonist style, so it's going to be the head is going to be like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's something like that basically. As I told you guys, you can make the head 
the hands of Mario, but in my case, I don't gonna make it because the view of the camera will be right here, so you don't gonna see it. So we just select this one and we find the right spot for Mario's. Yeah, something like that. Now let's work on the cure really quick. So what we're gonna do, go here, okay. <clears throat> Now this one we can use a, a color, we can uh, use the same color that the, the golden one from the coin but we can copy, duplicate it for if we need to make any changes. So now what we're gonna do is gonna enter to edit mode, select this face, third one and then we're gonna ship the duplicate. Then right click to put it back then we're gonna press P separate section okay go back to object mode now we're gonna select the cube and we're gonna go to the bevel modifier gonna apply a bevel I think something by default the number is okay two or three then right click shade the smooth will be something like that is okay now with the plane on the top what we're gonna do we're gonna enter to edit mode in this case this plane we can change the color because we don't need that color but for that we need to go back to edit mode delete the color the white is okay now we're gonna select the plane we're gonna put it a little bit up yeah like that dot view we're gonna change it to solid view. Now we're gonna go to edge selection. We're gonna select this one. Yeah, all the edges. Okay. Then we're gonna extrude it. E. And we go down a little bit, something right there. Yeah, something like that is okay. Mm yeah now what we're gonna do we are going to select everything with a then right click to so divide and then we can change here to let me see to let's put five six six is okay okay something like that okay now Go back to object mode and we're gonna apply the subdivision modifier Boom. and then we're gonna go to top view we're gonna scale it a little bit yeah like this then right click shade the smooth go back to object mode now we're gonna go to vertex selection okay like that let me see we're gonna select so some vertices. Okay, from view. We can activate the X ray vision and then we're gonna select those vertices right here. Okay. Then hold down shift, select these ones also. Hold down shift, select these ones. Okay, now put it down. Put it down a little bit. Yeah. Now we go to side view. Click outside. So we're gonna make the same with this one. Hold down shift. This one. Yeah, something like that. Then we're gonna put it pull them down. Yeah, I think it's something like that activate the x-ray vision go back to object mode mm. it looks good now let's change it to two yeah we can go back here yes this one hide it for a moment yeah 
Okay. Now I'm going to put it three. <clears throat> okay, we can mod still modify this like a going side view. We can put it down a little bit more. Yeah. And in this case, like uh, activate the X-ray vision, go here, from view. Let me see. Yeah. From view, we go back here, X-ray vision, we can select this one, this one, then this one, yeah. And we can put it down. Yeah, something like that. Make it more cartoonish. <clears throat> then we can go to face selection. Select everything. And then we go all E. Let's do the long normals. Can make it a little big. Yeah. Something like this is okay. Mm. Go back to edit mode. So something like that, it works perfectly. Now we got this part. So far, no, what we're gonna do is we are going to create a material, go back to material preview. So we're gonna create a material. We go here, right here, new material. We're going to green. Gonna go something right there. Yeah. Then we're gonna change the specular 0.2 and brownness 0.8 like that. So I already got right right here we got that this one. Now let's create the question symbol. We need to type the question symbol to put it on the box. So what we're gonna do is we are going to top view. Okay, now we're gonna ship A and then we're gonna go to test. Okay, now we're gonna move it right there. And then uh, we're gonna enter to edit mode. Then erase this and tie the question symbol, wait. Okay, like that, go back to edit mode. Now we go to the test properties and we need to change the font. So we're gonna go there. You can choose the font that you want. In my case, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with this one, Agency F regular, FB regular. So basically I'm going to scale it up. Okay. Scale it. Now right click. The geometry, origin to the geometry. Now in this case, we need to convert it. Ah, no, sorry, first. We need to go RX90, okay, from view. And then we're gonna go to the properties right here. Strut. Something like that. Now the bevel, we can put a bevel. I think like 0 0.001 is okay. Then we're gonna go right click and convert to mesh. Okay. So it will be something like that. Now we're gonna go to side view. G, we're gonna place it right here from view. Right there is okay, I think. We're gonna enter to edit mode. A to select everything. We're gonna scale it. We're gonna make it big. Uh, this moment I don't need the floor. I'm gonna disactivate the floor now from view. Now about the material, I think uh, we need to create a new material like that. That color is okay. Now we're just gonna change the specular and the roundness. Okay, that's all. And then what we're gonna do, we are going to uh, create copy. But in this case, I'm going to go to top view, then shift D, right click, put it back, 
then we're going to rotate it on uh, we're gonna go this is on normal we're gonna change it to global okay global and then we're gonna go R Z 90 okay we're gonna go right here and we back right here yes and in this case this one uh, we're going to apply a mirror you can see if it's in the right position then we're gonna go to modifiers mirror then we're gonna select this one tap, click and that's all and also with this one we're gonna go mirror then select the cube and in this case it goes to this direction we can change it we can play around ah, like that is okay no X yeah so it's done this part is done so now we're gonna go to the cube now we're gonna enter to to edit mode with the cube selected now this process is because the view of the camera will be right here I'm going to do it with these two faces but you can do it with the other faces if you want but in my case for example I'm just going to select this face and this face and then I'm going to right click to divide and I'm going to choose I think 5 let me see 5 yeah I think 5 is okay now what we're gonna do is we are going to select this one hold down shift select this one select this one and this one this one this one and uh, also this one this one and this one and then we're gonna right click to divide like that okay now we're gonna start to select this the middle ones inside of that selection hold down shift okay guys now we're gonna go to right click loops tool circle okay like that and we're gonna press i and we're gonna create in section something i think right there is okay we're gonna go all e through face along normals and then we're gonna go inside and let me see I think there is okay okay something like that now what we're gonna do go back to object mode we're gonna change the angle maybe of our around 50 yeah 50 or 60 now right here we can uh, apply subdivision surface okay for made it make smoother the borders and everything and then we can also go back to object mode then we're gonna select for example uh, edge selection select this one from here control to here then control to here we're gonna select these borders control b maybe a selection maybe something right there Yep. Go back to object mode. You can let it like that. Look, looks nice. Now we select this part. Okay, we enter to edit mode. A. Yes, make it a bit of big. Okay. Now we're gonna go to Z solid mode. We are going to edge selection. Okay. Now we're gonna select this part. So we're gonna hold down Alt, click. Hold down ship alt click okay hold down alt ship click then hold down alt ship click make sure that everything is selected and what we can do right now here is pull this down a little bit you can see yes something like that go back to edit mode C material preview and will look something like this okay now let's just start to place the elements in the right position okay guys now in our case Mario let me see okay we're gonna go side view then the mass room we can select the mass room select the mass room and then move it right here now this one remember this must to be inside the Mario's collection so we need to make sure we don't need the light for the moment. 
so we just we're gonna go and make sure that it's inside the Mario's collection yes and then we're gonna start to move it a bit okay it doesn't matter if the light moves we're gonna place it right here yeah yeah something like that yes now about the okay the light we can move it here about this one we can we need to make it smaller so we're gonna select both and make it smaller from view okay now from view we're gonna select the mass room yeah something like that now about the coin we need to select the coin from view okay so our elements are there and then we need to create the tree and we need to create the clouds it's pretty simple so for that we go we are going to use metaballs we're gonna go to from view and uh, i don't going to i don't gonna get into too much detail about the metaballs but uh, I'm going to create it, the tree using that and uh, it's pretty straightforward okay guys so we're gonna go ship A and then we're gonna select metaball they have different options but in our case we're gonna use ball and then we're gonna move it right here when you create one metaball you can go to the properties of the metaballs so right here the resolution the resolution viewport is 0.4 so basically, if you increase the resolution, will be lower polygons, and if you decrease the resolution, will be more polygons. For example, like that, 0 0.1, you can see. And uh, in my case, I'm going to use 0 0.3. Yeah, I'm gonna use 0 0.3, doesn't matter. Now what you can do is basically this is the radius of the metaball so if you copy this one they're going to start to stick together. So this is the, the way that the technique that we're gonna use for create the, the tree. So basically you can place this right here then scale it. Go to the top view and start to play with dash. Shift D create more. You can change the size. Something like that. So I'm going to create a tree and then we will place this in the uh, we will place it in the place in the, the right place of the composition, okay? Okay guys, so now okay let me move the light because the light right now I don't need it. Now what we're gonna do, we are going to select all the meter balls. We're gonna select it all. And then we're gonna go to object, uh, convert to mesh. Now it's a mesh. Now we can apply also the subdivision modifier again. To make it look uh, better, shader smooth as well. Then we can enter to edit mode. A to select everything, then we can scale it and then we can make it big in the Y axis a little bit, go back to object mode, then we go to material, the material, we create a green one, we go a little bit dark, something like that is okay. Now we're gonna change the parameter specular 0.2 and the roughness 0.8, then top view G, we're gonna move it right there, right click, set origin to geometry. Then scale it, we're gonna scale it a little bit from view. Go down. Yeah, we place it in the right spot. I think like this is okay. Let me rotate it a little bit. G. Yeah, something like that. Let me take a look. Oh the play, yeah, like this is like this is okay. Now let's make the trunk really fast. From view, we're gonna go to from view and then we're gonna isolate the tree okay right here now we're gonna go ship a mess we're gonna bring a cylinder we're gonna bring a cylinder like that i think it's okay yes we're gonna move it right here okay we're gonna locate it in the right spot something like that 
okay from view enter to edit mode we're gonna change the view to solid we're gonna go to x-ray view you need to move it a little bit okay we're gonna make it small calculate the place one two vertex selection we're gonna select this those vertices and we're gonna pull it up this one gonna pull it down okay now we're gonna create a cut in the middle control R click cut scale it a little bit That's something like that <clears throat> then we're gonna go right here and we're gonna uh, change to edge selection with two with all hold on all we're gonna click this loop then hold down shift and all and click this loop and then control B we're gonna apply a bevel something like this it's okay and we're gonna go back to object mode turn up the x-ray view right click shade as smooth then we're gonna go control 2 for apply a subdivision I'm gonna put it 3 I think with 3 is okay from view we go back to the normal then side view we can select both G move it place it right there now here we can play a, a little bit with the size Z then we go back to preview material preview we can play a little bit with the size and see what is best for us so in my case I'm going to select the three the leaves and then I'm going to scale it a bit just a bit okay the branch the trunk sorry the trunk I think is okay now we can create a material we go here new material and create that one we can go to the to the orange a little bit we make it dark yeah then the same specular 0 0.2 enter roughness 0 0.8 and that's all let me see how it looks and basically this is this is uh, our composition so the only thing that we have left are the clouds so let's make it real fast we're gonna use the meta balls the meta balls so you already know how to use meta balls so i'm going to do it uh, i'm going to speed the the video and i'm going to make three types of clouds so you can follow the video along okay Okay, it's done. So for the material, we're gonna create a new material, but in this case, we are going to use the surface scattering. This one. It will make it looks really nice. So like that, you can let it, and then you can apply the material to the other clouds. You will you will see the difference when we make the lights and the camera and everything, the render. You will see it. So now what we're gonna do, we are going to create, start to create the camera, we are going to start to play around with the lights. So for camera, we're gonna put this window down, and we are going to open another window right here. Now, let me hide this menu. So we're gonna create some composition, something like that. Let me see. Yeah will be something like this okay now we're gonna press ctrl alt zero to set up the camera in the view that we want okay now we're gonna open again the menu then we're gonna go to view camera to view then we're gonna hide the menu and we're gonna select our camera right here and then we're gonna go to the viewport displays we're gonna make the frame clean and outside the frame is going to be black so we need to fit the view of the camera in the window so we're gonna press the key home okay now this menu we can hide it with T so it will be like that control scroll mouse to play the right view okay then we're gonna go to the properties of the camera and the focal length 
in this case I'm going to change it to 300 because I don't want too much pers perspective on the view but also I don't want to put the orthographic view so it will be 300 and then right here in the output properties we're gonna change this this is one one nine two zero we can copy the same and right here something like that then we're gonna go back and then we can not see nothing but because we need to change the camera and the clip start and end so in this case we are going to change the end to 1000 bam okay then we just locate the camera yeah something like that and right here in the output property you can let it like that or you, you can modify the side in the one that you want you can see you can make it like uh, thinner in the size it depends on you yeah, like, uh, let me see yeah something like that it will be okay now let me hide this menu right here and then we're gonna create a plane we need to create a plane but, but first let me see i think the cube and the grass are too big so i'm going to scale it down a little bit mm, yeah maybe something like that from view okay so now we're gonna go to from view go from view we're gonna create a plane ship a mess we're gonna go to plane then we're gonna change the align word to view okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna scale it make it big maybe something like that okay let me see yeah i think we're gonna enter to edit mode select everything and we're gonna scale it from the z axis yeah, maybe there then gz we're gonna move it maybe around there side view GY, we're gonna move it back. Okay, from view. Now that we are in a uh, edit mode, we're gonna do is go to top view. Uh, okay, sorry. First, we're gonna uh, edge selection. We're gonna select this edge, and then we're gonna select this other one. Hold down shift, and the bottom edge. Then that view. Then we're gonna press E to extrude. We're gonna extrude it. Mm, let me see we're gonna press y to make a selection something like that around that from view then right here we're gonna select this edge one more time let me change to solid view first then we're gonna select this other edge then we're gonna go to scale in the x axis maybe in our, around that okay yeah, something like this is okay now <clears throat> the other thing that we're gonna do we are going to select those edges this one hold down shift select this one this one this one and that one and then we're gonna press ctrl b we are going to create a bevel yeah i think that's enough cuts okay now we're gonna go to top view and we're gonna rotate it we're gonna oops select everything with a then rotate it i'm gonna move it g i'm gonna place it in the right spot maybe right there r let me see from view g z we're gonna Put it down around there. Seven dot view. Rotate. G. Yeah, something like that. Then we're gonna go back to object mode. Right click, shade the smooth. So it will look something like this. Okay. So now let's texture it. Let's put some colors on it. So I'm going to close this. I uh, make bigger this window then we're gonna drop this up and then we're gonna change it to shader editor and uh, select it we're gonna create a new material let me open it okay now we're gonna go right here now what we're gonna do we are going to create a color ramp so chip a 
color ramp okay we're gonna connect the color ramp to the base color I'm going to close this one in okay and then right here we're gonna select the color ramp and then we're gonna press ctrl T but in this case we don't gonna use the image texture so we can delete it now the coordinate to the mapping we're gonna change it to generate to vector and then we're gonna find other node that is called separate uh, separate is yz is yz then we're gonna connect our vector to vector okay and then we're gonna connect it with a z we're gonna use z fact okay and then we're gonna change right here to easy now we can test it you can you can test it guys so you can test it is the panel what uh, the separate is yz you can see the difference if you place it different differently like that you see in this case y works and you can test it with the x as well but I think this in this case this one is, is correct. Why? So now what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna create colors. So just create the colors right here. You click click it. For example, the white one. And we go right here. And then we can change the color. See, for example, let me find a color. I'm going to use something like this. And then the white. We can change something like that, like a little bit dark, and then we can create more. Like for example, we can create one more right here. Then this one, we can make it like a light blue. You can play around with the colors and find the result that you like. You can put them as much colors as you want. Okay, so my result is like that. So guys, this tutorial goes still here. In the next tutorial, we're just going to animate everything, uh, put some lights, and rend uh, render out the uh, final animation. Okay, guys? So thank you, and don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and see you in the next tutorial.